Boom Supersonic aims to launch by 2029, with as quick as three-hour flights between London and New York on the cards. With the use of a full-scale aircraft, as it is known, Overture, and led by Blake Scholl, the founder and CEO, achieving a launch before the end of the decade is now a top priority. Speaking on the Skift Travel podcast, Scholl said that the barriers that had previously been in place, both from a regulatory and technological standpoint, have been addressed by the business. The development of the XB1, we know to be a smaller demonstrator, has been key to understanding how to go on to develop Overture. This is your full-scale aircraft. Meeting regulations has been key, and the boomless cruise, a technique that allows Overture to eventually fly at supersonic speeds without creating a shockwave felt on the ground is crucial to achieving that over land flight without disturbances. Boom Supersonic, despite facing pushback, has made progress with its XB-1 and relevant studies, stating that it took only a matter of months to acquire the crucial approval to reverse regulatory bans on supersonic flight. To meet the 2029 launch of scheduled passenger flights, it really does have to be all guns blazing. Boom Supersonic must, and I reiterate, must meet key deadlines, including the rollout of the first full-scale overture in the next two years. That's right. To stick to the timeline imposed, Overture would need to roll out by 2027. One year, and exactly one year after the rollout, Boom would then need to get Overture airborne, followed by a year later, first delivery. So you're really looking at a two-year certification process, from rollout to first scheduled passenger flight. That is something even established plane makers like Airbus and Boeing have not been able to achieve. Whether it's been with the next generation A321 XLR, which was delayed on its entry into service, whether it is their A350F, which is struggling with supply chain complexities. Over at Boeing, they've known all too well about the delays in getting new programs off the ground. The 777X at this current point is over five years delayed from its initial launch timeframe, and I don't even need to get into the remaining 737 MAX variants. You get where I'm heading with this. So to expect Boom Super Sonic to achieve the certification program in two years to hit that 2029 target is optimistic to say the least. Now, Boom Supersonic definitely has its criticisms. Some analysts, even some airlines, have been left with more questions than answers. But United Airlines and American Airlines have committed to the plane to a certain extent. Whereas over at Delta, the only airline part of the big three in the US that hasn't committed to Overture, has seen Ed Bastian question the business model and say they outright won't be purchasing the plane because they simply don't have the answers they need. Overture will be a very expensive asset, with the economics required to break even for the company that chooses to fly it remaining a cause for concern. Additionally, you're looking at a limited customer base contrary to what Boom Supersonic believes. That's not even me getting into the many people that question the financial ramifications on Boom Supersonic of launching this program, let alone the sheer costs required to actually get a full-scale overture produced on a regular basis and shipped off to airlines. Demonstrators are all well and good, but the real challenge now awaits. Taking that next step with their super factory and building the first full-scale jet and actually getting it airborne, which would be a massive step in the right direction. But even then, you feel that this endeavor is going to continue to face some form of scrutiny until it is really being delivered with airlines and seeing widespread adoption. Whether it reaches that point remains to be seen, but there'd be certainly more in the camp of arguing it will definitely not be the, by the 2029 time frame. I am nevertheless very keen to hear your take. Is it realistic? Two years for a rollout to first delivery of a manufacturer that ultimately hasn't produced an aircraft before. Like I said, we, we can't even see Airbus and Boeing do such a thing. So to expect Boom Supersonic to do that, with especially all the new technologies they're looking to implement on such a sheer scale without the backing of Airbus or Boeing, it is going to be a fascinating watch. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you tomorrow. And we'll fly.